Okay, so we got out of the box. 3000 watt. Pure sine wave. Let's take a look at the front. You've got your outlets on the front plus your hardwire connection, your on off switch. <clears throat> then we've got these heavy boot heavy duty uh, lugs in the back. And you got a couple things here in the back. Um, it's your fans and right there where you plug in your remote control for the remote display, which I didn't order, which I thought I had ordered. You notice the voltage on here, 21 to 30. So at 21 volts, it should shut down. And then you've got your... Um, ground lug down there okay so anyway I had this out of the box already I put it all back in the box to just let you guys kind of see what it looked like in the box and get it all out of there but it's pretty heavy it's 22 pounds a little more than my last power inverter I think it was 2,000 watts and weighed about seven pounds so it's quite a bit different um, come with these big connectors that go over top of the terminals when you put your cables on it and uh, I fired it up had it hooked up to my 24 volt battery bank I have the dip switch in the front on power save on the lowest input for power save which according to the manual I downloaded says less or larger than seven watts well in this power save mode which is supposed to be the lowest it wouldn't fire up on a on a 10 watt LED light bulb so I guess that's okay it's not gonna be very often that I run a 10 watt LED light bulb so but I did plug in a a four foot fluorescent tube which is about 23 watts and it turned right on then I plugged in a, a 250 watt heat lamp and it kicked on the fans to keep it cool so these two fans in the back actually have quite a few CFMs because the fan blows out of the front it sucks it in from behind and blows out front here and it does have quite a bit of airflow when you're when those fans are running and they're really not too loud I mean I guess it depends on where you have your power inverter at they could be a little annoying but it's not really that loud now like I said that was only with a under 300 watt load so well, I'll get this thing hooked back up and do some more video for you thanks bye